Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has received a request for proposal from the Ministry of Defence for the procurement of 156 Pratchand Light Combat Helicopters. Hyderabad-based Lokesh Machines Limited has clinched a 4.26 crore rupees order to deliver their ASME submachine guns to the Northern Command of the Indian Army. The Indian Rafale fighter jets emerged with the upper hand in simulated long-range beyond visual range missions facing off against American and Singaporean F-16 fighters during exercise red flag. Indian nuclear weapons stockpile has surpassed that of Pakistan for the first time in 25 years, assessing that India now has 172 warheads against 170 of Pakistan. The audio is showcasing its advanced defense systems in Neurosatory 2024 in Paris, France. The fourth and last ship of the Project 15B class stealth guided missile destroyer INS Shurat has started sea trials. Avision Systems Private Limited manufactured Hero 120 loitering munition has started undergoing high altitude trials with the Indian Army. Indian Institute of Chemical Technology and Premier Explosives Limited has developed an indigenous process to prepare CL-20 high energy material that is primarily used as propellant in rockets and missiles. The Medani Group is in discussions with Pratt and Whitney, and once the deal is finalized, Medani will supply various components for different sections of Pratt and Whitney's diverse engine portfolio. GTRE is procuring engine performance measurement and monitoring system for mobile test facility. The Indian Air Force will begin the phased retirement of 60 Jaguar strike aircraft from 2028 onwards. NSA Ajit Doval and his US counterpart Jake Sullivan discussed co-production co-development and research and development opportunities during the second initiative on critical and emerging technologies meeting. According to a media report, the US might be willing to sell F-35A Block 4 to India under Modi 3.0 coalition government, but official negotiations is likely to start only after US elections in late 2024. The report also said that if the US sold the F-35 to New Delhi, it would not be the two countries' first aerospace transaction, as India already possesses the P-8I aircraft Apache and MH-60 helicopters. After a simulated joint aerial combat exercise between the Indian Rafale and the American F-35 at the Red Flag 2024 last week, the US is ready to field its F-35A stealth fighter jet in the Indian Air Force's multinational air exercise Tarang Shakti 2024 in August this year. While the US and UK have offered their fifth and sixth generation fighter jets to India, the Indian Air Force has said, that the AMCA will be given priority, and no import of a fifth-generation fighter jet has been planned in the foreseeable future. After ordering the Akash 1S surface-to-air defense system from India, Armenia is considering additional systems such as the medium-range surface-to-air missile system and the Akash NGR defense system. Armenia plans to conduct thorough technical evaluations of both the systems, but currently the more favored option is the 70 km range MRSAM, due to its immediate availability and established production line in India. The DRDO chief has said that the internal development trials for the light tank which began earlier this year, are expected to conclude within the next one and a half years, that includes summer trials, winter trials and high altitude trials, after which the tank will be offered to the Indian Army for user trials, indicating that the light tank could be ready for induction by 2027. The chairman of Nivantia has said, that an Indian Navy team will hold trials to test the critical equipment for its Project 75I submarines by the end of this month at its shipyard in Cartagena. He also said that its next-generation AIP system designed for S-80 submarines produces more than 300 kilowatt of power, and therefore it can be directly used for P-75I submarines without any redesign or scaling up, which would substantially mitigate major risks of Indian Navy with respect to the project. Today's top 3 comments
Oh, Mark, drop it.